Hi there, I'm Jo from Jo's Paradise of Colour. In this video, I will be sharing how to do some glazing. So, this is a technique I like to use quite often um, when I get a lot of leftover yarns. Um, so, in this video, there will be a, another sort of short talk before I get into the spinning of it, but I will be sharing you my choice um, of fibre um, for this make. But before we get into that, I would like to just talk to you about um, selecting um, fibre for yarns like in this video um, where you want to capture the luxury fibers um, and not blend them into your base color so what you want to do is you want to pick your base color first and then try and match a luxury fiber that will stand out from the darker background or lighter background so I've got a couple samples but these are not leftover yarns um, when I'm talking about leftover yarns I'm talking oh, yarns fiber leftover fibers I'm talking about um, bits that you've picked off your fiber top and or um, have been caught on the small drum on your drum carter after making a bat. So I'm talking about stuff like this, the little knotty little bits where you would normally either put in back into your drum carter and make new fiber with or if you're like me I like to use these in making leftover um, yarns like this one where I just grab what's in the bag and spin it and it comes out crazy all over the place different fibers mixed bags of everything and they actually look really stunning after they're finished this one sold but this is one i made a couple weeks ago so but with the glazing you want to use a luxury yarn well, I keep saying yarn, luxury fiber, because that is the fine fibers like silk, um, cashmere, angora bunny, um, other exotic ones and rare ones like camel, bison and all those other ones. And once they're like carted up, they make the most shiniest and finest stuff so that's what i prefer to use for glazing because you have to core spin it onto your single or you core spin it over the top of your plying as you're plying it and it's got to be very fine so you see the other yarn underneath it so in this video I am going to teach you how to do that and you will see me making this. This is the most beautiful luxury art yarn I've made in a very long time. But as you can see I've used super bright colours and some darker ones 
like the violet and the blue. So this is uh, really stunning. I went with a violet silk thread to match the darker color, which is violet. It, when you're picking your thread to go with your yarn to finish it, you want to choose a thread color that is like or matching the color that is least dominant in your yarn. So all the colors that you have chosen pop. Okay, so keep that in mind. Whatever color you're going with, say, say like this one, there are some red in here, but a majority of it is orange, brown, and white. So I chose a red thread and it brings it out and it separates the more dominant colors from the ones that are least added, but brings them out. So for example, if you're going to go a white base, okay white white will dominantly take over if you use a lighter color with it as in if i was to add this as a glaze on a white you wouldn't see it very well it will come out more it will be very light colored very um, pastel so if I did use this with that the thread I use will have to be something that is matching one of these colors. So it pops this out from the white. So I would probably use a, probably a pink or a mauve, saying the dominant color of this is mauve or um, maybe a because you want to not take away not take away from it but you want to be able to make it pop so this is a mint um mint green with silver metallic thread so that goes really nicely and then when you put them up against white i think that would be beautiful however i don't have any other colors to show i do have a yellow but maybe these are examples color prepping see that yellow is very dominant over the rest of it so I wouldn't use that you want to just choose something that complements the color The other way I go is I love adding uh, rainbow to white because it 
pops. It is such a good, very pretty combination when you're putting it with white. Like a unicorn. Um, so, I pro I'll probably do one um, next week in the white and the rainbow for you. The other colour for example is black like in this um, yarn that I'm going to be talking about and showing you it goes with everything every colour combination put all your blacks to get blacks with your your bright colours That one would probably need to go with a maybe a grey for a dominant colour. But I think that would be pretty too with black. Um, these are just examples of what I've got left. And wait, this is a very shiny, soft fiber. Um, it's a faux cashmere and pearl fiber and rose fiber. So that's pretty cool. That's a very nice colored yarn, a uh, very nice soft yarn to spin and work with. So there's some examples for you um, if you're looking at doing some of this yarn for yourself. Um, so yes, I will just switch it over to show you the fiber um and the yarn uh the threads that i will be using for this yarn and then i'll get into the video i hope you enjoy this one and stick around till to the end i will be showing pictures of the finished product which you've already seen <laughs> but i hope you enjoy this and i hope it's easy to follow it was a little bit tricky doing the video for it. Everything that can go wrong did go wrong. So I hope that you enjoy it. Okay, bye for now. In this week's video, I will be sharing how to spin glazed yarn. There are two types of glaze yarn um, techniques. Um, one, which you will glaze silk or super fine uh, fiber that is silky um, on to the yarn as you're applying it, and then it gives a glazing effect. But the second one, which is what I will be sharing, is when you are glazing the single as you are spinning it. And then you ply on top of that. I find it makes it a little bit um, stronger and the glazing doesn't come off in the wash. So... I prefer that way and that's what I will be sharing with you in this video. So I hope you enjoy it and here is the colours I have chosen. And with help from my admirers group, the, uh, the followers um, have chosen black to go with 
this absolutely stunning, super soft, and so silky cat, um, what was it? Camel bunny. So it is baby camel, angora bunny, cashmere, and silk. And it is divine. It is so beautiful. The colors are just the leftovers of my psychedelic peacock yarn that I made a couple weeks ago. So I hope you enjoy this one and stick around till the end to see how it turned out. Let's get into it. So for your glazed fibre, you want to strip it in sections so I want short color pops so when this is glazed it will be the very tip wrapped around the black fiber the black single and that will show the black through it so it's more of a glazing instead of being spun as a single on top of it so i'm going to do pretty short sections so it sort of pops out, so it's sort of like added, similar to um, like if you were going to speckle your yarn with dyeing, but this is with spinning. So you just make it pretty thin little sections no strips <laughs>
get it to catch it pedal slowly and draft it at the bottom and core spin the very fine fiber very lightly on top of your single draft down the bottom and continue hi welcome back um this is going on day three um i've just finished spinning the single for the glazed yarn so i hope it was easy for you to follow and how to add the glazing to the single um I've decided to ply it with a um, violet um, embroidery art silk thread. Let me say pretty. So this one turned out very pretty. Very, very, very pretty. Um, I think I'll be planning on making a couple more like this um and also in white with like rainbow rainbow colors um maybe some other colors too eventually um but i need to buy some more fiber as i have run out but how pretty is that going to look once it's finished um so yes uh let's get into it 